Hi, Eric here. Today I'm going to show you how to properly open and serve a bottle of champagne. So what do we need? Of course we're going to need some champagne, and I have some great champagne here. It's Windsor Vineyards 01 Vintage Brut. And we're going to need some glasses. Preferably flutes because that will show off the bubbles the best. And crystal will have the rough surface on the inside that will generate the most bubbles. And we're going to need something to keep the champagne cold. Here we have an ice bucket. We're going to fill it up half with ice, half with water. And you might consider having a towel on hand just in case things get a little out of hand. First of all, we're going to get your bucket ready so you can keep your champagne chilled. I filled this bucket up halfway with ice and water. And we're going to set the champagne in here and let it chill for about half an hour. Alternatively, you can put your champagne or sparkling wine in the refrigerator and let it chill down to the ideal serving temperature of 45 degrees. There are several devices you can use if you want to add a little elegance to your champagne opening. This device is called the Swift Turn Champagne Opener, and this one is a Champagne Express. However, I prefer the good old-fashioned method of using my hands. To open the champagne, we'll start by removing the foil over wrap. This exposes the wire cage inside. If we wanted to use one of these tools, we would simply place it over the cage and the cork before we loosen the cage. The Champagne Express works a little differently. You simply insert this hook into the hoop of the wire cage, put the whole thing on top of your cork, and push down to break the cage. You would then twist the cork to remove it. Once you have the cage exposed, find the loop to untwist the wire cage. Now at this point, you should keep your thumb on the, on the cage because if you don't... <laughs> if you're right-handed, put the thumb of your left hand on top of the cork, tilt the bottle about 45 degrees away from you, and loosen the wire cage. The cage metal is really brittle, so usually it'll break. Once you have it loosened then, put your entire hand on top of it and slowly turn the bottle as the cork eases out. Try to let it out with as little noise as possible. If you open it properly, none of the champagne should come bubbling out. To serve it, Pour a little bit into each glass, allow the foam to subside, and then go back and fill it up about two-thirds of the way. And there you have it. Once you open your champagne, how do you keep it bubbly? That's where one of these comes in. Super Seal Champagne Stopper is very effective at keeping the bubbles in your champagne. Simply open it up, place the stopper in into the bottle, push down, close the flanges down around the lip of the bottle, and it's sealed. To remove it, do the opposite. Open it up and carefully allow the pressure to come out. So there you have it, how to open, serve, and store your champagne. Cheers.